Welcome to Innovations Driving the Leading Edge of Healthcare. I'm delighted today to speak with you and have an opportunity to share some of the insights we have in the innovation that's coming in healthcare. And today I'm going to tell you a story about the healthcare practices and practitioners that we work with all across the country that have given us a bird's eye view into some of these innovations that are happening. So we have a very interesting landscape because we can see the forest when most of the practices are just looking at the individual trees. So what's exciting about that, so in this main story, there's always a character. And the character in our story today is the pendulum of healthcare. Now the pendulum of healthcare shifted hard in one direction over the last century. And with that shift, some good things happened, but also some really catastrophic things happened in our healthcare. And I'm gonna share those with you today. But before I get into that, the good news is the shift is changing and it's coming back in another direction that I'm gonna share with you. But before I get into the story, I wanna talk about some common wisdom through the ages. So some of the wisest people I know are our mothers. And mom's wisdom, how many of you have heard an apple a day keeps the doctor away? eat your vegetables. Moms have been saying that for generations. Also, something a little bit more recent, because I say it, <laughs> is eat the rainbow. I just call this common sense wisdom, right? We've all heard you are what you eat. We are, we are what we eat. So the new mantra in our house is eat the rainbow so everything on the plate we try to have every color of the rainbow represented because as you can see in that diagram there's some pretty amazing foods in there and the nutrition that comes from it can't be denied and then one of my favorite characters driving wisdom at least through my childhood and i'm going to date myself here is popeye and popeye gave us lots of good reasons to eat our vegetables. So all of this wisdom throughout the ages was brought on the shoulders of Hippocrates. So Hippocrates, the father of medicine, you've all heard this quote before, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. I'll say that again. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. So many of you have probably heard of the Hippocratic Oath. And the Hippocratic Oath is something that every doctor takes when, he goes to, when they go to medical school. And I'm gonna read the Hippocratic Oath to you. If I can find it. Okay. The Hippocratic Oath is a sworn agree, and this is simply stated. Okay, I don't have the actual one. The Hippocratic Oath is a sworn agreement made by physicians when they become doctors. It includes a promise to share knowledge, to help the ill and not cause harm, and to never give a deadly drug or help another to use one. So when I hear that and when I'm listening to that, I'm thinking about all those pharmaceutical commercials that I hear. And then at the end of the pharmaceutical commercials, we hear all those adverse reactions. And those adverse reactions many time include, can cause serious illness or injury, can cause death. Have we heard that before? Yeah. So let me go back to the Hippocratic Oath again. To help the ill and not cause harm, and to never give a deadly drug, or to help another to use one. My job today is not to demonize the pharmaceutical industry or doctors, but we can't talk about what's happened to our healthcare system without identifying some of the root cause problems that brought us here. So again, the good news, there are changes coming and good things happening as that shift happens. So I really appreciate your time today, your energy, and obviously, um, you know, hope you enjoyed some of these ideas I found worth sharing. Thanks. 